Good morning. It is Stampin' Thursday, 10 o'clock, Facebook Live. I am so glad to be here with you today, and I, I thank you for watching. If you're watching live, please comment so that I can see that you're here, and I'm going to refresh my computer screen right now so that I can see what's going on. Hmm. Sometimes it has to refresh a couple of times. I see that Kay is watching. There I am. All right, we're ready to go. So, I'm Stampin' Dee Dee. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I am here today to show you a technique I have learned to use a die cut machine, my die cut and the coordinating stamp, or the stamp and the coordinating die cut, and it creates the most beautiful card, and it's so easy. So, first of all, just a couple of housekeeping things. Today is the last day that you can order your March paper pumpkin kit beyond the horizons and oh my goodness the the paper in the kit the cards in the kit are using the same watercolor technique as the beyond the horizons um paper and this is just this is the pack with <laughs> all my scraps in it but it is it is a beautiful set you'll make nine cards and you'll have leftovers, the paper, the die cuts in the kit coordinate with your um, Beyond the Horizon or the On the Horizon paper. And so you'll have opportunities to use those on other projects. And I will give you two kits for alternative cards that you can use your leftovers with. So on March 26th, this is after you've ordered and gotten your kit at home. We're going to meet here at my house and have a paper pumpkin party. So we're going to put our cards together. You'll get your two free kits. Um, we're just going to have a good time. So if you have not ordered your paper pumpkin, then go online right now and order your Beyond the Horizon paper pumpkin kit. And on my Stampin' Dee Dee site, if you scroll down... Um, Oh, two or three posts. The link is there. Or you can just go to Paper Pumpkin and designate me as your demonstrator and get it ordered. Thank you so much. The other thing I want to tell you about is um, the March monthly class to go. And the RSVP for that ends tomorrow. So these two deadlines coming up. The March class to go is the Happy Hedgehogs set, stamp set. So you get this, you get, well, I had it right here. You get, um, hmm, what did I do? There it is. You get the brushed brass butterflies. You get a set of those. You get three kits. Two of them are card kits, fun fold cards. I'm going to show you those real quick. And I know they're backwards. I'm sorry about that. It's just the way this stuff runs. But this is a fun fold card. You'll get the kit for that one. And you'll get the kit for this one. Look at that fun card. Is that not fun? So you'll get those two kits. And then you'll also get the supplies, everything you need to make this fun fold box. This box is the uh, craft scalloped um, treat box. And so you'll get everything you need to make this treat box as well. Plus you'll get your PDF tutorial and the photos and you'll get links to YouTube videos showing how to do those fun fold cards. So, don't miss the deadline for that. That's tomorrow. Um, the March monthly class to go. All right. I also want you to know that for the month of March, 
Stampin' Up! is offering 20% off of the mini cut and emboss machine, as well as 20% off of um, several of the bundles that have dies that can be used in that machine. So if you're thinking about buying a Stampin' Cut or the mini cut and emboss machine, then now's the time to do it, 20% off. All right, we're gonna get right to our project for today. So let me turn the phone down. Turn it just a little bit more. Hold on. All right, I think that's gonna get it pretty close. Oh, I just messed it up. All right, so. Hmm. All right, everything is still backwards. This is scrappingdeedeespot.blogspot.com, and this is my my blog. And um, if you need more specific directions, I always post everything from my videos on my blog, and. Um, all right, these are the cards. Are they not cute? This one is using a flower, a, die, a flower stamp and the coordinating die cut. And it's a happy birthday. And I don't know if, can you see the, let me see if you can see. can't tell if you can actually see the dimension. This is using the Wildcat set. Let's see if you can, if I can turn it and you can see how it's die cut. Maybe this way. All right. So this is using the Wildcat set. All right. And then this one is using the Seize the Day set. So see, you can do this with flowers. You can do it with animals. Let me turn it this way and see if you can see where it's cut out all around the image. And then this one is using the um, Flowering Rain Boots set. All right, so these are all using a stamp and the die that coordinates with it. And the one that we're going to make today is the Seize the Day. And this is the stamp set. And it has greenery and fish and a crab. And it's got this awesome octopus. And... Um, Jellyfish, and then Seize the Day, Wishing You Oceans of Happiness. Thanks from the bottom of my heart. Thanks from the depth of my heart. <laughs> I'm trying to read it upside down, and it's backwards for you. So, all right. So, this is the set we're going to use. And from this set, I will use the Octopus Stamp and the octopus die. All right, so I'm gonna set those right over here. Get them ready. Set this aside. We're also going to use um, pale papaya card base. And that is eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to use soft succulent mat. 
and this is four by five and a fourth. And we're going to use another piece of soft succulent that is two and one eighth by four and five eighths. And then we're going to use a piece of basic white that is three and three fourths by five. And then we're going to use a piece of pattern paper, or you could use basic white. Let me show you the card. This one just has basic white. So it has the card base, the mat, basic white, the mat, and basic white. On this one, I'm going to use a pattern paper. And on this card, I used it from the Marvelous uh, Celebration paper. So today, I'm going to use the Beyond the Horizon paper. And um, it will give us the very same effect. But it will be something that you can actually get hold of yourself. All right. Then the ink that we're going to use, we're going to use basic gray. We're going to use pale papaya. And we're going to use soft succulent. So I had written these out. And... Somehow, I didn't realize that this was going to be upside down. So, I'll put this on my blog. These are the card dimensions for this. And it's not going to do you much good if it's upside down. So, I will, I will put these on my blog. So, go there to get your dimensions. All right, now we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to adhere... The pattern paper, I'll get my, we're going to adhere the pattern paper to the soft succulent mat. So I'm going to do that. There we go. We've got that done. We're going to adhere, turn this right side up this time, last week I put it on upside down, so <laughs> we're going to adhere the, um, this mat, the first mat, to the base, so here's the base, I'm going to adhere the mat to it, all right, now, we're going to hold off on this for a minute, on the white. So, next, we are going to set this aside. Next, we're going to stamp our image onto our white. And I'm going to position this kind of where I want it. So, I'm going to position it centered this way and with just a little space over here. And that means I will put my, I'm going to put him pretty much in the middle. Pretty much in the middle. All right. So that tells me where I'm going to stamp him. And I'm going to stamp him in basic gray. Let me get it going this way. All right, so I'll do this and turn it around. Oh, and I need to put a piece of scratch paper underneath. Let me put a piece of scratch paper under here. Well, how did that get on there? All right, back to my ink. So I'm going to stamp him pretty much in the middle. Get a good image. There we go. He is the most awesome. He is the most awesome <laughs> octopus. Isn't he awesome? You can see all the different dimensions in here, the shading. All right. So now we're going to take this piece and position it again right over our octopus. Let me put my ink away. I'm not going to use that one anymore. So we're going to position them over the octopus. 
and I'm going to get my die. And the, I'm not adhering this because I'm going to take it and die cut it. But I'm going to position my die and you just have to go with what's showing. And that's why you want a, a little bit at least showing so you can position your die. Then I'm going to take a piece of washi tape and adhere him not to the white. Well, let me do it this way. I'm going to adhere him to this piece and I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to use my mini stamp and stamp a uh, cut and emboss machine and die cut him. Well, this is where the magic happens. All right. Take it off. Move this away, because that's all the die cutting we're going to do. Now I'm going to real carefully, so I don't peel any of my paper, I'm going to take that. There. And looky here. This is going to fit perfectly over that octopus. But I'm going to use dimensionals to put this down. So I want dimensionals all around the edge. I really want to hold it up because I want it to be, I want you to really see that depth in there. So I've got that. And, um, you know, before I put this on now, I'm going to stamp just a little bit of the greenery. So let me get that out of the die set, out of the stamp set. This greenery, I'm going to use this greenery and this fish. So get those two pieces out. Just to add a little bit to it. You wouldn't have to do anything, but... So I'm going to use this with the soft succulent. I'll put my fish aside. I'm going to ink it up. And then I'm going to stamp off. And now I'm ready to stamp it on here because I want it to be, I want it to really be faded out. Okay. There, you see? It looks like it's behind the octopus. octopus. And that's all I'm going to use that one for. Let me clean it off real quick. Okay. Put it back. All right. Okay. And now I do also want to stamp a fish on there. And so for the fish, I'm going to use the pale papaya to coordinate. And the first time I stamp the fish, I'm going to stamp it full color. The second time, and then I'm going to just stamp it again because it'll be much paler. It's just sort of an image of it now. All right, that's all we're going to do with that. And then I'm going to get my sentiment, which is wishing you oceans of happiness. I need to clean this. So I can use this block for my sentiment. All right, wishing you oceans of happiness, and I'm going to put it right down here 
with black ink on my on the bottom of my card. Okay. Wishing you oceans of happiness. There we go. So here's our card. Let's see. Can you see it? Away from me. All right. So we've got that ready to go. And now I'm ready to put this on. You get these little things everywhere. I get them everywhere. Because even though I may have them all at once in my hand, when I throw them away, they go different directions. I guess the static electricity. And they don't always all go away. There. All right. <laughs> so now I'm going to position this right. And this is, I'm going to take my background piece away. Position it over the doc over the stamped image so that it shows through perfectly there we go all right i don't know if you can see now it is positioned with the um, dimensionals right over the stamped image is that not cool? All right. So now we're ready to mount it to our card base. We're almost done with this card. I told you it was easy. I mean, it is just so easy. And it, it, it creates such a stunning card front. People wonder, how in the world did you do that? There we go. Get that on. We're going to add just a little bit of bling. And I couldn't decide whether I wanted to add the pale papaya from there or from here. I think I'm going to use from the Genial Gems. I used the 2123 in color jewels on this one. Put that back over here now. But I think I'm going to use the genial gems. And I could use the green or the gold. So now let me see which one. It's always hard to get the new ones out because they're so tight in there. There we go. Let's see. Do I want the green? Or the gold. I think I want the gold because the fish are swimming around in there. The gold, the pale papaya. So I think I'm going to use the pale papaya right there. And here. Mm. All right, we're done. There's our card. Is that not unique? I love that. So there's that one. There's that one. Where are the others? Um, what did I do with them? Here they are. <laughs> I've got so many pieces of paper laying around. There's this one with the flower. This one with the flowering rain boots. And this one with the wildcats. Let's see. Did I get them all in? Here's the one we did today. Well, here's the one we did today. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you think that that is as cool as I do.
All right. Thank you so much for watching. This was a short one today. See how fast that card is? It's just amazing to me. When I did the first one, I thought, how in the world could that be so easy? How in the world? I think I moved it. I thought I moved it. No, I did. I moved it more where it needs to be, right? I am having the hardest time <laughs> figuring out which way to go when this is upside down and backwards. I think I need to go this way. There you go. So, one of these days, I am going to get this all figured out. And you are so patient to hang in there with me. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a really blessed day. Thank you for watching. And now I have to... All right. Sorry about this. I've got to figure out where to turn it off. There we go.